for reasons you don't understand. For normalized psi, we have the length of psi squared equals to the sum, of course, of the modulus of cn squared equals to um, huh? What on God's green earth are you talking about? Yeah, oh. that one that All right. That is, that is the sum. And equals, there's a typo here. Right? It's got to be a typo. Yes. Yeah. So they're missing that sum in the book. On the 7.78's got a typo. Right there. Uh, page 37 is, oh, sorry. Equation 7.78. Yeah, and just, you bump the sum over. Yeah, that, that sum, there's a sum. The sum just, just doesn't just vanish. N is not free. N is a dummy variable summation. It can't just go from not being a dummy variable summation to being a, you know, that's, oh my goodness. I've got four minutes left on this, this, this uh, memory card. What the what? <laughs> oh, man, son of a gun. Yeah, I don't have. Ah. All right. Um, well, at least I saw it and didn't just keep talking through it, right? Um, So in this context, a sub n is, is, is just the modulus. a sub n literally is the modulus of cn squared, which is the um, psi n with psi squared. And then finally, the expectation value will be equal to the sum. Uh, and and this, is, this is the thing you'll recognize from quantum mechanics, I think, Jacob. Like, this is how we calculate the expectation value, right? You calculate the, uh, <clears throat> these things against the uh, eigenvalues. That's the, you know, that's the, the observed, the average. It's like a, it's a weighted average of eigenvalues where the weights are taken according to the, uh, you know, the, the brackets of the, uh, the eigenfunctions with the, the state that your experiment's prepared in. And the, the quantity C sub n squared is the probability that the measurement will yield eigenvalue lambda n of a hat in the normalized state psi of x. He says clearly 0 is less than the, you know, to me, 0 is less than the bracket of psi n with uh, psi squared less than or equal to 1. So that's, that's, you'd like that for a probability, right? <laughs> and all of these results lead us to postulate 5, um, which is an observable operator A hat has eigenbases psi n with corresponding eigenvalues lambda n. Then the probability that the measurement will yield eigenvalue lambda n of A hat of the system in the normalized state psi of x is literally this thing right here. This is this is the probability that I can, that, you know, you observe, you, this is the probability that you observe, observe the, you know, uh, lambda n in this situation. All right. In quantum mechanics, they just kind of tell you this and just does it. Yeah, you're like, that's true. <laughs> there is a, there's a little bit of mathematics going on here, isn't there? This is the case. All right. I'm going to stop this right here and we'll start.